Today I'm gonna ruin and destroy all your favorite trends by burning, dropping in lava, mutating, hitting with massive weapons. It's gonna be fun. There is an object that has been known to end people, and today we find out just how dangerous the Grimace Shake can be. This is a normal, ordinary guy who's just going about his business like, you know, normal, and then all of a sudden, a giant Oh, I thought it would crash. Look at okay, Grimace is sitting on his head. This is Grimace, and he's just really terrifying. He's a big purple guy. Grimace is very weird, and he, he can get really out of control. He starts freaking out and messing with people. He's not very nice. Is he missing a leg? I thought what we would do is we would first test and see if we drop Grimace from gigantic heights, what would occur? Would he actually uh, destroy the guy who's down below? Just go ahead and follow him. Here we go. And as he's dropping down, oh Jesus, the guy's still alive somehow. That's good at least. Can you walk? Are you still able to walk? Yeah, he's still able to walk. That's good. Not for long. Anyway, since Grimace is a creature who looks as though we could potentially mutate him, I thought we would give that a shot. So let's try to see if we can make him into a gigantic cannibal. Oh, you totally can mutate him. No way. <laughs> I want to make you really weird, Grimace boy. Oh, what if we make Grimace into a, a gigantic spider? That's probably going to be very delightful to see. Oh my gosh, what just happened? Where did he go? He's gone. He literally just erupted into a, okay, a bunch of pieces. This is all that's left. It's his brain. Well, since we have a brain. Maybe we can make a body reappear. Let's go ahead and grab us um, the starfish mutation because I think that'll do it. Oh, we. Oh, we've made Grimace come back. He's alive. He's always replicating. Oh, no, you guys. Oh, this is gonna get really weird. Oh, grab my computer's gonna blow up. That got out of hand very quickly, but since we have Grimace and we can make him into whatever we want. Oh, I got all their things. Oh, what are these? I got all, I got all their mods. I don't even, Grimace purple, purple liquid. Here, let's get this. What does this do? You drink this? You want to drink? Anything happen with the Grimace shank? Nothing. Oh, crud. Don't worry. He's, this is what the Grimace shank does to you, by the way. He's still alive. Oh, this will make Grimace more delightful. If it works, <laughs> please work. It's kind of working. Oh, look, he made a baby grimace. <laughs> it's a little mermaid grimace. Isn't he beautiful? He is, this is anything but beautiful. This guy right here loves himself some Grimace Shake. But the problem is, the Grimace Shake gives people some really bad results. And this one is no different. You see, anytime anybody tries to drink this Grimace Shake, well, bad things occur. Like that, like that. Oh my goodness. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You want to be a sea urchin? I want to see you as a sea urchin, Grimace. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Oh, what the heck? You guys, <laughs> it didn't just give them spikes. It made all, a whole bunch of Grimace head spikes. <laughs> this is probably the derpiest mutation I've seen so far. This Grimace, you, you're a really funny dude. Look, everyone is so excited about the new Grimace shake. They really want to take a drink of it. But we, you know, we know the truth. We tell them. Guys, listen, you shouldn't drink it. It's not good for your health. It can cause really bad problems. Re really bad problems. Oh, no. Jeez. I didn't know it was going to be that extreme. Oh, don't buy the Grimace shake because this is what happens to you. Is Grimace immune to his own shake? Let's see what happens. What is the, what is the Grimace shake? I mean, is it made from him? Because that's weird. Oh, look, he's immune to it. Yeah, he totally is. You know what we need to do? We need to test just how explosive that is. <laughs> Let's get a whole bunch of guys. Okay, here's a bunch of guys. Get them all surrounded. The Grimace shake. Yeah, stand on top of each other. That's fine. We need to test the radius of the Grimace shake. This is what it does to you in the bathroom. When you go in. <laughs> Here we go. In three, two, one. Grimace. Oh, 
Oh, they, they were protected because there was a bunch of guys there. So maybe we need to put it, like, on top of them. There we go. Yeah, cower away. Here we go. But it's, it's gonna happen. Oh, man! Okay! It's 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 definitely working. These are not people, by the way. Uh, YouTube people. Uh, demonetizers. These, these are robots. Can you see? This is some kind of, like, liquid that they're leaking out. Robotic liquid. Fluids. I think we mutate Grimace some more. Grimace! Take this. You're gonna like this one. <laughs> it's gonna make you even bigger than you are. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> He's so big. I wish there was one that made him heavier. Like, there needs to be a new mod that makes him heavier. Look, he's got all these little arms. Oh, he's so cute. I like his little arms. And his, and his look at his feet. His feet are the exact same size as they were before. <laughs> How are you walking with those, Grimace? You're so, you're so, they're so tiny. You know, I really have no idea if this one's going to work. <laughs> I can't imagine that this one's going to actually do anything. Is it going to? Oh no, because I made him in- never mind, this one won't work. No nothing will work at the moment, because I made him into the head, the ghast head, and the ghast heads don't do anything. So, well, there we go, we'll do that one. I can't imagine that this giraffe one will work. <laughs> if this works, I oh, my goodness, I'm just gonna buy my engine. Here we go, Grimace. Please work. Do something weird. Just get weird over here. Like, he- they're supposed to grow a long neck. No, nope, he's it's not working on him. It's it's unfortunate. How about some legs? You want some more limbs, Grimace? We can give you some more limbs. That's a good one. Yeah, there. Oh yeah. Oh. Okay. Why does he grow new? He doesn't grow new limbs. He grows new Grimace part like heads. What the heck, man? Grimace, you're the weirdest one. Oh, let's centipede him. That'll be good. Oh my gosh. No! <laughs> We've made the worst abomination of all time. I'm trying to think, how can we get. Oh my goodness. How can we get Grimace to not be like just getting more like little heads? Not big. Little heads are big heads. This one might work. It's the tree mod. It's actually replicating his feet instead of anything else. <laughs> Everything's backwards with Grimace. So look, this is what should be replicated with the head things, but instead it's just oh no, there they are. Oh why? It's so weird. This is so weird. It's so great. <laughs> I don't know what to make of this, you guys. Grimace is like the weirdest mutation person imaginable. Come back here. Don't go anywhere. Oh look, we broke him apart. I freed him. We've got a we got a single one. He's only got one one foot. His foot, his other foot is somewhere in this mess. <laughs> He's alone. So what happens if we? Hmm. I don't know what to do to you. Should we? Oh yeah. Let's try this one. Should be good. Hermes, Hermes, take it. There you go. What's gonna happen? You gonna get a weird long body or anything? He seems to be. Maybe he's dead. And for my final trick, we'll send the cameraman to space. <laughs> they have all been activated. Prepare to fly. Let me, let me just follow him. There we go. Prepare to fly. Prepare to fly or something. I don't know what's going to happen. It, it can... Oh, yep. Cameraman is gone. <laughs> the, wow. Okay, so the Grimace, uh, Grimace things are very, very, very powerful. I want to get more of them. Let's get a whole pile of them. We're going to send Grimace flying. Grimace, you're going bye-bye, man. Here we go. And three, two, look at all of them. They all popped up. Three, two, one. Oh, I forgot to go follow him. Whoop, he's gone. <laughs> Grimace is gone. He's left the building. There, I think there's part of him. Nope, nope. It's his whole body still. You know what they say is one of the biggest problems about owning your own home? It's when the toilet backs up. Things can get a little crazy. Especially if it's got a face on it like Skippy to Tootsie's just killed me! As I was saying before I was r so rudely destroyed, there's a toilet on the loose and he's trying to attack me. I've got this weapon though. Yeah! Oh, he's trying to come out the window! Can I even- can I even kill this thing? I think we might need bigger firepower. 
<laughs> oh my, <laughs> she's just looking at me. Yeah, grenade launcher time. Come here, Skibbity, I got something for you. We need to do some extensive plumbing. And that starts with blowing your face, trying to come out, blowing your face away. Part of me wants to let him come out the door just to see, come on, come on, oh my God goodness ah he's gonna get me again no no go out go out go out ah, i can't get out jumped out the window let's see if we can help him oh my he's breaking down the door in today's video we have a whole bunch of different skibbity toilets and we're gonna see how extreme they can get and then we're gonna have them all fight off against one another to prove which skibbity toilet is the best skibbity toilet i just kill myself you know what's worse than that skibbity toilet this one that has a big gigantic spike for a face oh that guy <laughs> you don't expect to ever be attacked by the thing that you go to the bathroom in but man oh man let me tell you especially especially the fact that they sing and dance and make lots of weird noises that's what that's what you get oh not only is he spiking him he's trying to eat him wait look at him he has an evil face he is absolutely terrifying wait till you see some of the ones that we have i'm pretty i'm pretty excited about today's video because who would have thought the toilets would be so entertaining and i can't even imagine what the last battle's gonna be like because it's just gonna be very wild to say the least it's a bunch of toilets fighting. This next toilet freak of nature is, uh, huh. I had a hard time deciding which one I'd show you. This one or the another one. But needless to say, never thought I'd have discussions like this about toilets in my life. But here it is. It's Chainsaw Head Toilet. And he looks absolutely crazy. He's got a laser. Might be a little too intense. Oh, does he just use the taser? Taser? The laser? The toilet laser. Taser. To launch himself forward doesn't make sense but man he is just obliterating these things so fast and he's not even like standing on the ground what would happen if we take the laser away what what does toto toto okay here we go so let's see what happens boom the toilet he got that guy right in the wrist he's just laying on the ground as things walk into his chainsaw he's quite the aggressive and does he have bidet functions look at the little buttons on the side of the toilet he has a built-in bidet and this bidet is very dangerous to say the least it's obviously not for use okay this isn't a real thing oh the mammoth pushed him off the edge he's trying to hold on what is how are you doing this who knew that toilets had anti-gravity powers like this one <laughs> he's trying to come back he's not hooked by anything oh my goodness is he gonna come back the mammoth is like get down there you toilet oh my goodness he just flipped out is he coming back oh no he's going off <laughs> Dude, what, a, what a weird what a weird thing. You might ask yourself, what could possibly be worse than a chainsaw toilet or a spiky toilet? How about a spider oh. toilet? Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is creepy, man. Look at the daddy long leg legs. And then he's got a flamethrower. Oh my, that's some, that's some over crazy bidet function right there. And what is happening to his neck? What is this? This is weird. And what is this? Is this like a flush up there? This is the this is the worst one yet. The daddy long leg spider leg things. That's just that's just brutal and creepy looking to say the least. And he's torching up some hippos for barbecue. Who would have thought that you could have a toilet that barbecues things? What is going on with his neck? Wait, what is this? Yeah, this is beyond creepy. Now that you've seen the spider and the chainsaw one, you might ask yourself, what could possibly be worse than those two? Well, how about Jumbo Josh in a skibbity toilet? <laughs> Jumbo Josh in a toilet. Now, what makes this even more insane is that Jumbo Josh <laughs> does this right here. And there he goes, <laughs> just taking off, flying through the air. Jumbo Josh riding in a flying toy. Oh, he's getting smashed, though. Oh, man, he is just, he, he's stuck. I thought he was going to be a little bit more intense than that, but, I mean, the fact that he, let me just give him a push. The fact that he flies around is pretty insane, but he, I think he's more concerned about actually attacking and destroying 
then then flying around and raining down from the sky which i guess we could put him put some missiles on him because that would be good but you know what also this this toilet's not to scale this is may, might be a baby jumbo josh this is where he was born what happens if we put a flying jumbo josh against another flying jumbo josh toilet you're gonna move oh 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 there they go it's like a it's like a beautiful dance in the air. Oh, where are they going? Hey, you guys, the battle's over here. I can't even, they're gone. They're, they, they, they are fighting. Oh, somebody died. Oh, my guy died. This, I mean, this is very, very hard to tell what's happening. How about three-way? How about a three-way? I don't know, how about a four-way? Jumbo Josh, give me the toilet battle. There we go, this will be intense. There goes some up there, those two, or one just died. Though That one died, those two are going to space. This is beyond bonkers. This is the weirdest video I've made in a long time. Someone's still alive somewhere. And now the moment no one on earth has been waiting for. <laughs> Maybe you have. I don't know. Here we go. We're all the skibbity toilets fighting off against one another to prove which skibbity toilet is the best one. Will it be? Comment below who you think will win. Chainsaw toilet, which is my guess. I put him in the number one slot because I think he's going to win. Will it be the Jumbo Josh? The flying Jumbo Josh skibbity the fact he flies is amazing. Will it be the normal, ordinary one? Will it be the evil Specky boy? Or will it be the Spider-Man? He looks nuts. So, I don't know what's about to happen, but it can't be anything good. Let's watch and see. Spider-Boy is gonna attack this guy with the flamethrower. Here comes the chainsaw man. Who is the best fighter? That's the real question. Whoever the best fighter is, honestly, the flamethrower dude might win because he's got that flamethrower. And <laughs> we got these guys over over here doing a nice little weird dance should i have taken the flamethrower off that guy no one else has anything like that he just should just be melee okay never mind chainsaw boy just wrecked daddy long leg spider skibbity toilet and uh that was very surprising to me because i thought he this thing was about to just take tons of damage and die so they're fighting over here these two are still doing their weird dance there we go yeah get the face oh no he's taking him away <laughs> <laughs> That's about no he's doing a spin to throw him off the level. Is it one flying? Nope. He's still flying. Will he come back? What if he comes back? He's got incredibly low detection distance. Dude, Jumbo Josh Toilet died first. So the last two fighters over here are the spiky boy and the chainsaw one. Who will be victorious out of these? <laughs> this is such a weird video, man. Oh, but I love it. Oh my! He just did a spin? Hit him one time and he died. You only need to hit once for you to be successful? He doesn't even have that. He's got a one HP, one attack multiplier. He's not even that amazing. Wow. The chainsaw one. That is, um, that is wild. Welcome to the test chamber. There's a whole bunch of new mutations. And today we're getting weird because we're mutating skibbity toilet stuff. This vial right here contains a special mutation liquid that turns cameraman and other skibbity toilet stuff into titans. But we're not gonna do that quite yet. But first we'll use this green vial on speaker man and this is called the arrow root mutation and i'm not 100 percent sure as to what it does who who what is happening okay well we quickly found out that it made a bunch of heads now he's the ultimate speaker man now normally uh you know we would just leave it like this and admire the wonderfulness of it but there's actually a secret thing to this and it allows you to essentially make some really interesting things happen so if we freeze that and if i grab an arm like this and i pull it apart <laughs> look at what we've got going on here <laughs> this is new you can make a nice little stretchy doll and you can play with his arms like this and punch all the way across the map oh is it still con it's still connected okay wait wait i got i got an idea what if we stop it okay and what if we follow it let's follow that and then we resume <laughs> it went 
right all the way back. That's enjoyable to watch. I need to make it more crazy though. This one is called the centipede mutation, which we've seen already, but I'm very curious as to what will happen if we, uh, let me, I need to unfreeze this leg. If I do, oh, did it just mess with this? Oh, oh, okay. Yep, 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 we broke it. <laughs> okay, so look what happened. We made a whole bunch of other arms and body parts. Woo, but look at his head. Nope, there's his heads. He still has them. There's speakers everywhere, and it just keeps going. Now, the centipede, that's the one that eats people, right? So if we put a person down here, what's going to happen? You look like a nice, ordinary guy. Wait, is it, are they coming back? Oh, it's just, nope. Yep, it's trying to. <gasps> Here it comes. <gasps> oh, no! Oh, the head's got him. Huh? <laughs> it's like, let's welcome to the neighborhood. Oh, nice to meet you. Where? Hey, where did he go? Oh, crap! <laughs> He's gone too. Oh, that worked. Okay, I turned the long-headed speaker man centipede dude into a serpent, and so now everything is replicating. And I've the first instance of breaking my game today. We got the zebra speaker man here. Now this one, ooh, this one should be good. This is called the mushroom mutation. And it's basically a slower and more dangerous version of the spore mutation. And if you don't know what the spore mutation is, well, it makes some nice weird things happen. And oh man, it's, ha oh, it is, oh, okay. There go the spore heads. Look at them coming out. So the spores just keep popping. This one, though, doesn't break apart. He actually has little crazy limbs come out, which is pretty freaking amazing. His arm fell off. Uh, do you need that? <laughs> do you need that arm, man? Apparently not. Ooh. He's kind of turning into the starfish thing, too. This is crazy cool looking. And what exactly does the spore mutation do? I can't even remember. Spore mutation creates dangerous and infectious spore. So if we put a guy down, what happens? Does he like get infected or anything? Does this, you run into one of them? Do they ever pop and explode or something? Can I activate him? I'm not too sure what the spore stuff does. Whoa, oh, look at it. They're being infected too. Was it because they got touched by the, by the heads or by the guy? Because I don't think the heads were doing anything. Put another guy in there. Nope. But if I have him touch that guy, what if he gets infected? What if he gets touched? Okay, nothing, nothing seems to be occurring. Oh, we got a guy. We got heads popping off. Heads are flying everywhere. Things are getting weird. Okay, yep. He's got little things coming out of his back, too. This guy's now got stuff coming out of his back and an extra head. What the heck is happening? Every time I put a guy down, he just <laughs> collapses. Cameraman, black cameraman, why are you doing what you're doing? I don't know. Someone please help me. Blah! So here's what I think. Since you have no say in the matter, I'm going to experiment on you. So we got this new spore one. We also have the arrow root mutation. We also have a cannibal mutation. So I'm going to make you a cannibal, first of all. You can lay there still. That's fine. And then I'm going to give you some long limbs because I want to make you really long and big. And then, once you grow those nice long limbs, maybe you want to grow? Doesn't seem to want to grow. Look at his huh? tiny little head. He's still got a tiny head. Oh, that worked. <laughs> okay. okay, I forgot that the cannibal mutation like doesn't make anything else work until you use one of the centipede ones or one of the crazy leg ones. And clearly, we have now created the flying spaghetti monster. Welcome to the Arctic and welcome to the pain zone. Okay, so I'm gonna try, if I can, let's grab one of his arms, okay, and just give it to me. I need it. Forgot I can just do this. I'm gonna put that arm over there. We got a leg, we'll put a leg over there. Put a leg over there. There we go. And if I take, mm, yeah, we'll take his head too. There we go. Okay, so now he's separate, although he's kind of weird looking. And if we inject him with the arrow root mutation, I think they should all come back together. No? Hmm. Um, this is not 
what was supposed to happen. <laughs> I'm not even, you know what, since we're doing that, I'm not even sure what's occurring. Let's just make it even more weird. We got the gas mutation. Apparently somebody said that you can actually puncture robots, which I had no idea that you could. There we go. Make a giant gas head. Whoa. Okay, it didn't get, didn't make it, did it? It didn't even make it. What's the one where the heads get bigger? That's what I want. Maybe it was the cannibal one. Let's just inject him with the cannibal one too. Because I want the... Oh, is it the cannon one? Might have been the cannon one. Where's the cannon one? We There it is. We need this one. This one's fun. Take the cannon one right in the stomach. It's the best place for it. Now... <gasps> Wait a minute. Can that, Will it fire all these heads? Let's see what happens. Um, yeah, so that was unexpected. I never even know what I'm doing with these things. Sometimes I can figure it out in my mind, like if I add this and this and this and this, we'll make something crazy, but sometimes you get this and you're like, I, need, I don't even know what's happening right now, how that even occurred. Well, cameraman, I guess it's that time, camera head dude. Uh, this will make you into a Titan. Yes, attack on Titan Titan as big as you've always wanted to be and it's quite amazing three two one jaboom watch him ready <laughs> wait oh wait oh right i forgot he's 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 one of those titans that can activate at will ready a blow yeah look at him. he's in the nape of the neck even look at him he's smoking too wow and look at how big he is so since he's this big wait can i just i got an idea Will, will he go back to normal, more normal size? Do your thing. Do I have to activate this little body part? No. He. Oh wait. Oh. He he did. The Titan, the the big Titan, actually he left the skin. And now he's back to normal. But wait. Titan powers again. <laughs> he can just replicate himself over and over again. So the question, the question is. Now that he's this big, can he become even bigger than he is? And so, of course, we need to inject him with the with the gargantuan one. If I can, he's oh, he's got Titan armor. I forgot. Well, the Titan is being destroyed. He is slowly going back to normal size. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> wait, what? Um, okay, what do we do now? Can I act it? Okay, he- oh, he left the body, okay. So now he's big. Is he even bigger than before? I don't think he actually is. Oh, look, something- something weird is happening. He, like, shrinks back down. Okay, what if we make him- I got an idea. Make him the gas thing. Get your big head on. They're all getting big heads, okay? Did you- are you Titan still? <laughs> so he's- he's still a big body and he's got a head. So what if I make this- what if I use this one? Okay. This is the arrow root one. So now- what? What? Okay, okay. I- I mean, I get it, but I didn't expect it to happen to those ones too. So what happens if I make him a Titan now? It's gonna occur. Become a titan. Oh, uh, did your heads get bigger? <sighs> I don't even know what's happening. Okay, hold on. Here's what we're gonna do. The the giant one, the the uh, the cannibal one, messed it up. So we're gonna make him into. Okay, okay, I got it. I got it, you guys. We're gonna make him into a uh, a titan. No, into a titan first. Okay, get your titan on. Get your titan on. There you go. Boom. Titan time, okay? Now, we're gonna inject him with this one, the arrow root one, which should get him all the heads, okay? I think we literally just broke him apart. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that guy just, yep, there's part of his body, there's another part, and there's just, okay. So, uh, yeah, it turns out, wait a minute. Is this, is this his body? Uh, turns out that that didn't work. And he broke. So maybe if we find his other head. Now it's gone. 
Wait a minute. Don't I have to activate this? Do I have to activate this one? No, it's just happening. Darn it. I thought maybe I had to activate it. And I thought if I did, then we can activate two things at once. But I do have an idea. Okay. We just inject them with the Titan mutation. What if we do... Where's the one that needs the... Act, this one. The Parasite one. Let's see if the Parasite one works at the same time. We're going to give them a Parasite Titan mutation in three, two, one. Boom. What happens? Oh, yeah. Look at all those... Tech oh, no. I broke the game. Okay, we ripped it apart. It's never a good thing. Do you know who's better than Jumbo Josh? Jumbo Josie. Today you meet her and many new Garnet Bam Bam 4 characters. Do you know what you definitely don't want to do? Mess with Nighty Boo because if you do, then you'll get his mama mad. And she will come with her predator looking face and eat your face. And she also has big gigantic claws which I'm sure she'll pick you up with and make you wish you were never bored. And she- <laughs> is this she have this thing what is on her tail what is this creation back here oh my goodness it's a guy don't ask me why there's some guy going for a ride in the back of nighty boo's uh, mama's <laughs> tail but it but he is what the heck i see her looking at this guy twitching and this guy comes flying out of nowhere starts twitching in my face chill out bro she's gigantic you know what she's gonna be one of the many awesome creations that we have fight at the end of the video to prove which Garden of Bam Bam 4 character will be the new best character. I doubt I'm gonna say this correctly, but I'm gonna give it a shot. These gorillas are facing off against Hagutaki or Hagudagi and Takataki or something. I can't, I can't do it. Anyway, I don't know what these things are. Some kind of big giant. Oh, is it like the female version of Chamantama? I think so. Hagu and Dama here are going to crush some gorillas. Look at, they're kicking them all over the place. And then they don't even, they don't really even use any weapons. They just smash them with their face. That seems an Oh, roll on him with your shell. Seems like an appropriate way. I'm glad to know that Chama and Tama have a significant other. It's kind of a weird thing to think about, but you know what? It is what it is. I do wish this big gigantic tail was more of like a scorpion. I like the bow. It's so, they're so adorable. And check out that hair. Woo! Now this long, amazing worm-like creation was just released today. This is Patched Willy, and it is a gigantic looking worm thing, and I think it should, it's got missiles, man. I think it should destroy everything that it touches. I guess it needs missiles, because it technically can't even like really eat anything, which is I guess is to be expected when you're a big gigantic worm, but it definitely is cool. And I like the way he looks, but I wish he could actually eat things a little bit better. Oh, I do also have this one right here. It's covered in eyeballs. It's so weird, but this one definitely can't even do anything. It's just trying to lay on him. I like the other one better. Now, no one truly knows what's going to be in Garden of Bam Bam 4 other than the developers, but there is a channel called Boogie Huggy that releases some pretty amazing animations, and they haven't been too far off on some of them. And so I'm hoping some of these things will be in the real game. This is Bad Bad, and this Bad Bad is uh, quite insane. Got little tentacle things all over his back. He's got tentacle things all over his fingers. He's got a tentacle thing coming out of his mouth and tentacle little things on top of his head. Basically, he should be in the water, but he's on land and he's terrifying and he's making pretty short work of all these warriors. I do like the black and purple. I think that's a pretty cool look and this bad bad is more insane looking than the other ones, that's for sure. Oh look, that guy's not alive. That guy's not alive. That guy's definitely not alive. They're pretty much all not alive. And he's just gonna walk off. He just threw that guy. That are you how you doing, buddy? You haven't yeah, he's the, the same boat as the rest of them. Whoa, what is this tiny little thing? Apparently, 
this right here is Jester 2. Some kind of corrupted looking Jester monster. You can kind of get the Jester feel for it. But what is going on in this face over here? How does he even see? What does he do? Is he able to defeat all these dinosaurs? His hands are not attacking. They're just kind of standing out. Oh, everything is dying? Whoa, everything died in one hit. He might... <laughs> He might be too insane. He just, oh no. He's got to be just absolutely insanely. He's not even that strong. Wow. Okay. I thought that gesture was pretty crazy looking. Nope. And this one's even more so. This is Jester Gleeza. It's like a cross between Gazer and Jester. And he has these humongous hands to destroy and eat everything. I like the way it looks. And he's pretty powerful, but he can't deal quite with the prehistoric mammals pushing him all over because his hands aren't really attacking. He just sounds like, just kind of looks like he's like, oh, help me. Oh. I swear he's got a big mouth like that even. He doesn't seem to be that great of a fighter. Ah, yes, the prehistoric beasts versus Mr. Grimm. <laughs> Look at him. He looks so... I'm so legitimate. He looks so amazing. He's got big old claws. Who's got the bigger claws? Mr. Grimm or the dinosaurs? Let's find out. I have to imagine that Mr. Grimm... Oh, he one-shotted him. He's not very uh, aggressive, but when he does hit, you know it's a kill because he instantly die. And then... Oh, that guy's dead? You dead? Oh, he's like, I'm pushing him out of my way. Get out of my way! I've got business to attend to. Do you see my hat? It's Jumbo Josie, y'all. Look at her. She looks so cute. Did you know that Jumbo Josh had a wife? Her name is Josie. Now you've met her. Look at her little blue hat thing that she's got on. She looks just as happy as Jumbo Josh. <laughs> Jumbo Josh is not happy, and neither is Jumbo, is Jumbo Josie. Josie? Whoa! Okay. Okay, jump Josie. Whoa. We need to have you fight Josh. We need to probably have her fight Josh. Well, she's just like, she's not actually hitting them. She's like fleeing backwards, fleeing back. I've never seen anything actually fight like this before. Watch. Boom. <laughs> hey, goodbye, dude. It's good. Oh, he's on here. There. there goes a couple more guys. He's just, she's just like pushing them backwards every which way. Punch to the left, punch to the right, swing around. Push him up to the sky. There he goes. Over there. Okay, bye-bye. I really don't know who's going to win this final battle. It could go either way. You never really know with these games. Uh, I do think we have some pretty insane contenders. Jumbo Josie seems very aggressive and violent, but will she be the ultimate winner? I don't know. Let's find out. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for. The Battle Royale. Our new Garden of Bam Bam 4 characters versus one another. Will it be Mr. Grimm? Who's my choice? I thought, who do I want to win? I want Mr. Grimm to win. I also like Jumbo Josie, so I put her in second place. I don't know if she's going to win or not. Then we got crazy looking bad bad over here. He might win. He's got some crazy fingers. We got this little tiny guy. We've always, we, we've been surprised but the little guys. We got Naughty Boosh mama don't mess with her she's mad then we got this thing over here which is the jumbo jester gazer mixture and then we got the two chikalita <laughs> little turtles over here who's gonna win i don't know let's find out oh who's gonna who the, the real question is who's gonna die first we got a three-way battle going on over here we got a four-way battle going on over here. They're all fighting Mr. 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 Grimm. They must know how good he is. Will he be successful? Will he survive? I don't know. One of the things, though, I will tell you this, has over two mil well, actually has two million HP. Now it could die because it doesn't have the greatest fighting capacity. Oh, Jumbo Josie goes down. Wow, the little tiny purple dude lasts longer. That's very surprising. They I thought for sure that he would die too. Oh, someone's popping. <gasps> Mr. Grimm burped? Oh no! Mr. Grimm? Oh, my choice died. I thought for sure maybe he'd win. We got Bad Bad and the little purple guy fighting over here. Who's gonna be the victor between these two? Someone's got. Oh, the little purple guy died. Oh, look at him going. He's going over there with aggression. He's gonna come up and behind, slashing at, at Naughty Boo. Boo's mama. She, Naughty Boo needs uh, some. What a bats eat. Needs some bedtime insects, okay? So don't. 
killer. They, they're on their own. The mama's got to come and get them. Wait, how do baby bat? What do baby bats look like? I don't know if I've ever seen a baby bat before. The only one that's actually a fighter out of all of these from the looks of it is Bad Bat. All the other ones don't even really fight each other. It's kind of lame battle going over here. We got Adama and Haga or whatever. Hagen Das over here. <laughs> Just slap fighting Nighty Boo's mom. I don't know what their names are. Okay, these two are going at it. Well, uh, clearly the big purple dude. Yeah, I was going to say he's got to die. He can't even use his hands. Looks like Bad Bad might be the best warrior around. Uh oh, he's gotten the attention of the purple, the purple turtle though. Oh man, this is surprising. You have no idea who's about to pop next. You might be surprised to find find out the results i don't know who will be the ultimate victor but i know who's gonna die next and it's it's kind of surprising to me but it's only a matter of time really because ah, bad bad goes down the purple turtle destroys wow a lot of time has passed and not a whole lot's happening it's pretty much a slap fight but you're gonna be surprised to find out who has the most health it's Nighty Boo's mama! I did not expect that. Let's see the stats here. 1.8 million. But look at this. 2 million. This is the normal tiny speaker man. And this is the Titan speaker man. Not only will we be seeing what the speaker man can do, but we'll also be checking out a whole bunch of other things from the Skibbity Toilet universe. I've got to warn you, things are about to get really weird. This is the skibbity toilet and uh, might be the best one I've seen. I don't know how in the world they got this droopy look of this head here, but it definitely is and it's super weird. And we're about to watch as these guys just take their clubs and try to destroy the skibbity toilet. But will they be able to? Guys, stick around to the end of the video because we're gonna have a battle royale between all of the amazing things that you're about to see in today's video this is just wrong uh oh this group of thugs have angered the skibbity toilet people the cameraman army is here and they mean business look at those suits i have some insane things in today's video and it's only gonna get more they just one punch that guy it's one punch man dressed in the cameraman outfit it's all a trick so yeah maybe we only need one of them since it seems to be freaking OP can one of these guys defeat this army of thug boys wow they are getting pooped on they're getting destroyed you know what this is the smallest one in the universe I have things are only gonna get crazier from here as I was saying normal ordinary tiny cameraman Titan cameraman. Oh my goodness. Look at the size of this. What is going on up here? It's gigantic. Can he defeat this entire army of weird random animals and people? I don't know. I don't know. I've never done this type of combination before. Can he actually defeat them? He's just kind of kicking them around. He's not even able to punch them because he's too big. But look, he's actually doing. Oh, body slam. Yeah, that's how I do it. He's actually doing damage to him. Oh, hippo has died. Boom, body slam with the punch on the way down. Now, that's what he needs to do. Just do a little break dancing because when he break dances and he falls on him, he punches him too. Yeah, there you go. Get those kicks in. Get that Taekwondo action. Go back to phys ed class in the third grade and get your body into shape. Not Taekwondo, Taibo. Did you ever do Taibo in phys ed class? That was years ago. Hey, whoa, look at this. His TV, man. He's got green. He's got... Oh, is that cyan on there? A YouTube button, okay. It's blue with the crown. And then who's this red down here? This is TV, man. And he is going to fight these guys. And I thought they would maybe pose a challenge until I saw that he has lasers. But the lasers, I mean, it is destroying them. But uh, I just want to see the TVs punch people. Is that too much to ask? I just want to watch TVs punch people because that's something I never even thought of before. Yeah, there we go. He doesn't have lasers anymore. So now we can just watch the different TVs hit people in the face. Well, hit animals in the face. They don't seem to be nearly as uh, strong as one. No, he's still taking them out pretty quickly, actually. Never mind. He's going to be good for a final battle. I have no idea who's going to win. Oh, no. 
Oh, he's about to get pushed off. It's late night television at its worst. We need those infomercials to kick in so they can punch some woolly mammoths in the face he won. Normal ordinary TV man. Titan TV man. Whoa, talk about an upgrade. We got ourselves a big screen plasma TV. It's powered by an arc reactor. We even got some light strips for your entertainment mood lighting. He's pretty legit. Does he have lasers too? He's definitely got the man look going on with the legs there. Is he going to be able to survive? He doesn't have any lasers, which is good because I don't like the... Le Whoa! He's kind of freaking out. I mean, that 8K vision can definitely get a little complicated. Why do all these guys die? Is he just literally stepping on them? That's all he's got to do? <laughs> what's, this, what's this dance move? Break dance move. You gotta look, he's like a porcupine. He's got tons of spears in his, in his legs and stuff. You're going you're gonna to have a sore uh, day after the day that's for sure this is the most intense leg day at the gym ever comment below and let me know which of the skibbity toilet universe i just like saying skibbity toilet real fast uh which one of the characters is your favorite all right here we go it's speaker man now will speaker man be able to defeat this army he doesn't seem like he's got a whole lot going on but i can tell you one thing his upgraded titan form is out of this world he can definitely probably destroy stuff with that thing but let's see if he can actually defeat Defeat these guys first. I have no idea. Maybe he can. He's fighting Goro. Punch Goro in the face. That guy goes flying. Goodbye. Some of them are. Dude, did he just die? Goro's alive. He's still alive. Okay, let's look at the health. Yeah, there we go. Okay, he hasn't lost that much health. Goro definitely took a punch to the face because he took a lot of damage. Oh man, another punch. He only needs to hit one time. Goro goes down. He's definitely stronger than I thought. Get the windmill spinning kick and hand backhand slap going on. That'll get you that'll get you some destruction that's for sure uh he's he's better than i thought so the problem with the little tiny speaker man is that he's only got one speaker but the titan version is oh my goodness it would shatter an entire building look at these speakers he is like le he's a legit version of this titan speaker man if you look it up i mean it's pretty darn good uh it's a uh, it's quite amazing actually and i have to say i mean look at these speakers right here way better than these speakers right here i have to say you're probably gonna die goro not only does he have that but he also kind of flies and let's see he's who's got the better weaponry that's the real question in order to be able to actually survive he's got missiles too if i hear a missile oh my goodness look at all this stuff died Wait, yeah he's got missiles too okay wow yeah titan speaker man you're pretty legit man you got a jetpack and everything oh look at oh yeah look at his hands too i totally forgot about that look at those things wow that's wow look at that wow you remember that old video wow would you look at that wow oh yeah we got some Pigs versus the spider speaker. Spider speaker skibbity toilet thing. Looks pretty amazing. I don't know if he's going to be any good, but we can definitely just watch him. I wish he had more spider legs. Oh, everything's dead. Wish he had more spider legs and like spikes on him. That'd be way better. So if you took Tim Allen in Home Improvement and you gave him the skibbity toilet and you said, hey, soup this up for me. This is what you'd get. <laughs> this is glitch skibbity toilet. And oh my goodness, look at this. He's got spikes on here. It's like a freaking Mad Max looking thing. He's got all that going on back there. And then he's all juiced up in the back. Check this out. He's like a freaking F1 race car. Boom! <laughs> Just flying across the map. The problem is, though, once you like get stopped, your speed no longer really works although he does got spikes and a laser going on so I, honestly i have no idea who's gonna win this battle i'm gonna not put the lasers on that one dude just because he's probably too powerful but by the looks of things this end battle royale is gonna be nuts and can, i have no idea what's about to happen and here we go the battle royale the skibbity cameraman tv crazy stuff and all kinds of other weird things <laughs> who's gonna win let me speaker man titan speaker man who i think is gonna win we'll see will it be the baby little tiny cameraman if he wins i'll be so shocked <laughs> will it be the titan cameraman 
the TV man, Titan TV man, or freaking glitch toilet dude over here. I have no idea what's about to happen. It's, this literally could go, okay, there goes a toilet man flying away. This could go either way, honestly. And if that toilet dude gets out of control, I'll have to get out. I'll have to remove him. Who'll be the first one to die, though? That's... That's always my question. We got a four-way battle going on right now between the TV man, the Titan uh, speaker man, and the glitch toilet dude. Oh yeah, and the little baby dude is down in the you can't even see him. Uh, cameraman's so small. He's just way smaller than everybody else. Oh yeah, I don't know how this is gonna work out. <laughs> Look at they're trying to fight that little guy. How is this even gonna be possible to finish the battle if you got a giant guy and a small guy? Maybe the small baby guy will win because of his height. Oh, someone died when we weren't watching. Who was it? Oh, speaker man? And glitch toilet dude died. He's over here glowing still. We got the Titan TV man and the Titan speaker man dealing an addition out. Oh, and look at this. Who just died over here? Oh, TV man died. So we got Titan TV man and the tiny cameraman. And then these two battling. Who is going to go down? Oh, whoa. All right. Titan TV man is gone. Now we've got these two. Wow, okay. This is going to be an interesting battle. Speaker Man just hanging out. He can't even walk over here. He's derping out. And these two are still fighting. Oh, here comes Speaker Man coming up from behind. He's coming in for the for the hit. Will he be able to actually win this battle? I don't even know. He's still got his missile. I thought he, we, he should keep it because he doesn't really have a whole lot else going on for him. So I don't know if it's going to make a big difference or if he's going to win or not we'll, with because of it. We'll find out. And here he is. Look at him go. <laughs> Look at him go. Just taking his sweet time. He's Look at his little steps. He can't even get over there. It's The battle's going to be over by the time he gets over there. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him coming. He's so he's so cute. He's a cute little guy. I mean, he's not even, he's not even threatening at all. Oh, oh, whoa. No way. Speaker Man died. Oh. <gasps> Wow, I am shocked. I thought for sure he was going to win. Titan Cameraman just destroyed him. Okay, here we go. The final battle between one of the largest ones and one of the smallest ones. I can't. I'm very shocked. Look at him just getting kicked. Oh, kick to the face. Roundhouse kick Chuck Norris style right to the dome. Okay, listen. I don't know if anything's really happening, but it's been a while. And so I think I need to reveal who has the most health and whoever does will be the winner. Oh my goodness, I'm so I'm so I'm so nervous right now. Boss, is it the tiny guy? <gasps> he has quite a bit of health left. How much health does the big guy have? Oh! <laughs> No way! You guys, did you see it going this way? I am so shocked right now. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and your favorite Skibbity Toilet Universe guy character thing. You know who's better than Jumbo Josh? Jumbo Josie. And you know who's better than Coach Pickles? Coach Piccolina. Today you meet her and many other things and I think you're gonna enjoy. I'm sure you've all seen Chamataki and Tamataki. Well, today you meet a new duo. This is Flamin' and this is Telly. They are a twin set of deadly flamingos. This is really, do they have, they have lasers too? This is really wild, you guys. They are moving in a new way I've never seen before. Somehow, some way, they are being propelled without legs. We're gonna take Flamin' and Telly and we're gonna make them fight off against all these new things that you're about to see in this video and we're gonna find out who's the strongest and he won't have that laser and oh my gosh, that guy got speared. Oh, it, it doesn't even need lasers when it's got gigantic deathly beaks. I've never seen such a gruesome flamingo before. I gotta tell you, I don't think this thing maybe is quite the Garden of Bam Bam 4 monster you're used to. This 
is Drooly Molly. And oh my goodness, look at the size of this thing. What is this freaking nature? It's like Godzilla had a baby with King Kong and then it went into the garden of Ban Ban and had some kind of weird mouth thing going on. Well, I don't even know what this thing is. Wow, it is completely obliterating everybody. Hehe. <laughs> My feet too, is there somebody flying through the air? Did I just see somebody go flying? Well, needless to say, uh, that's not what I expected to happen. There's a new Garden of Ban Ban 4 character named Coach Piccolina. And while technically this isn't her, it's more of like a uh, evil fire deathly pickles, Coach Pickles. It looks very similar to Coach Piccolina. And she just needs a trunk. And she has boxing gloves. This one doesn't. Instead, it's got sharp claws, which should make uh, skewering some giraffe for dinner pretty easy and uh, quick. Uh, but look at this mouth. What is this mouth it has going on? Oh, it's got a flamethrower. Perfect. Don't even, it's just a one stop shop type of thing. You got your flamethrower, the barbecue stuff, you got your skewers. Coach Piccolina is gonna have some nice mammals tonight for dinner. The cool thing is, is that all of the things that you've seen so far and all the other things in today's video have very different health and damage. And so it will make a very interesting battle. And oh my goodness, those are like moving like arms. <laughs> those are little arm tentacles. That's not gruesome or anything. But I guess it does need to grab onto them to bring it into his mouth and eat it. I wish they ate things. I wish they actually ate things. Oh yeah, let's have Fire Pickles or Coach Piccolina fight this hungry Tammy. I don't know which Tammy is the right Tammy. There's a whole bunch of them, but this was built backwards. Got a whole bunch of eyeballs on it, but, it, but it's built in reverse. So it's just punching it. Can't even punch it really. I think it's safe to say one of these is the better fight than the other and uh, one's probably going to be dispatched incredibly quickly oh there it is confetti Woo, it's a party that's not a snake that's a snake <laughs> this is a brand new patch willy look it's amazing it's way better than the last ones I'll tell you that much and what is the deal with all the punching things. Let's see what happens. Bunch of type. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's happening? What is even occurring? They're trying to bite it and it's got a punching bag tongue. It's got spikes all over it. I never know what's happening in this game. Just weird stuff all the time. But isn't it wonderful to watch such a big weird galactic space worm thing? destroy a bunch of titan I don't even know what just happened you know I'm curious because I want to see what'll happen if Jumbo Josie fights Patch Willy because uh, one is clearly very different than the other I can't put Patched Willy in a battle royale at the end it's not gonna work although Looks like Jumbo Josie might be finding a weakness and exploiting it to her benefit because uh, Patch Willy cannot quite get that tongue to reach around back there and poke onto Jumbo Josie's booty. Oh no, she died. How did she die? You know what? Patch Willy isn't all too much stronger than Jumbo Josie or some of these other ones, so maybe we should have it fight at the end. There is a character named Harry Mary. And as you can see, it's kind of a basic version. Well, this is like the dollar store version, and this is the legit version. Look at this thing and all its little heads and tentacles. I like it, and it looks amazing, but I don't know which one's stronger, so we have to find out. Does one have a laser or something? It can barely move. She's got some huge Jumbo Josh hands. <gasps> Are you Jumbo Josh's daughter? Are you Jumbo? Oh, this makes perfect sense. Jumbo Josh and Jumbo Josie are wives. And then Harry Mary here is their baby. Oh, and look, a bunch of time has gone by and the true Harry Mary is winning. And so you will be in the final. Well, it's going to be in the final battle anyway, because I'm just curious. But uh, yeah, that's great. You know what's better than Harry Mary fighting another Harry Mary? Harry Mary fighting a hundred pigs and not only just a hundred pigs but also Porkzilla. <laughs> Look at the size of that thing. I, I don't know if I've ever made a pig. Oh, it's breaking itself. I don't know if I've ever made a pig that big before. I have to have made a pig that big before. If I haven't, something's seriously wrong with me. Wow, it's going nuts though. Can you, are you, 
Actually, <laughs> I didn't know pigs could fly. So anyway, 100 pigs. Any amount of pigs is a good amount of pigs. And a funny amount of pigs, it makes for a good entertainment. And that pig, Porzilla, is no more. Hey, wait a minute. Jumbo Josh is a way bigger than Jumbo Josie. <laughs> Jumbo Josie doesn't look so jumbo when they're together. Uh, this is a significant difference, and I'm pretty sure Jumbo Josh is about to destroy Jumbo Josh. I hope that there's a Jumbo Josie. Anybody else comment below if you hope there's a Jumbo Josie, because I seriously hope there's a Jumbo Josie. I don't know why they're fighting. Don't fight, you guys. Get along, get along. Back it off, back off, back off. Get over there. You get over there, okay? Damn, whoa, okay. I'm gonna... <laughs> Josh, you okay? I, I don't think they're doing any damage to each other. Okay, you guys settle down. You know, Goro's got some pretty big hands, but you know who's got bigger hands than him? <gasps> Slappy Hand Sorin. <laughs> this is a brand new character. And man, he's got some huge hands. I'm just now noticing that Slappy Hand Soren has got some lasers. And whoa, he's freaking out. His arms are a little crazy. And things are getting pretty... Okay, wow. Okay, you want to fight? You want to do anything other than just sit there and get your head bopped around like a freaking... Uh, what do you call those? Bumper balloons? The things you blow up and punch each other with? Those things? Or maybe even just like a wacky, waving, inflatable arm playing in two man? Maybe just some really weak dude so needless to say <laughs> this is not at all how i thought that this was about to go <laughs> Look at it. what is happening it's time for the brand new garden of band band for battle royale and i have no idea how this is gonna go because i included patch willy it could be terrifying could be messed up big time but you let me know who you think is gonna win will it be coach piccolina maybe flamin and telly maybe tammy Maybe Jumbo Josie will pull it out. I doubt it because she died to this thing, but we'll see what happens. We'll be patched to Willy or maybe Harry Mary or Slappy Boy over here. Now, I left everything the way it is. I didn't make them just melee, so it could go any way right now. Slappy Soren Boy could totally win. We have no idea who's going to be the first to die. That's always... The main question, who's the weakest link out of everybody? Jumbo Josie taking her sweet time coming over here. No big deal. Oh, Slappy. Slappy Soren died. Oh, and look at that. Slappy Soren and Tammy died. Who, wait, did two people just die? I don't even know. I think two people might have died. Now, Patch Willy is locked in here between Coach Piccolina and Jumbo Josie. Oh, and, oh no, 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 it's Harry Mary. <gasps> Who was this one that died? No, it's just Tammy. The real question is, where is Patched Willie's actual main body? Because if they can't damage that, then it'll win. I have no... Whoa, what happened here? You guys got flung apart? Oh, there goes Flame and Telly. Oh, wow. Jumbo Josie with the Jumbo Smash. And what the heck just happened? It looks like Patch Willie freaked out and took Coach Piccolino with him. I'm not entirely sure what just occurred, but now we got Jumbo, Josie fighting her daughter, and uh, Flamin' and Telly over here. Uh, is it Flamin'? I don't even know. Wow, Harry, Mary, and Jumbo, Josie got quite the punch. They are just punching Flamin' and Telly around. They don't even want to battle them. And look at this, Harry, Mary's hair is keeping Flamin' and Telly from even getting close while she backhands them. The thing is, Coach Piccolina, she, she's got a flamethrower, if it'll work. Which it doesn't look like it is, which is unfortunate. They're just kind of locked in here. We need to break them up a little bit. Get broken up so we can keep battling. Battle it out. Don't just push yourselves against the wall like a bunch of nincompoops. Whoa, Flamin' and Telly are now over there fighting. And it's just Harry Mary and Jumbo Josie fighting for victory. Now look at this. Harry Mary's got all of these little heads punching her too. So Jumbo Josie probably won't last much longer. But then again, we don't really know what's going to happen. All I know is that one is a better fighter. And usually the better fighter is the one who wins. But I've been proven wrong before. Because it's like they're all armor so that i don't even know what's hitting and what's not hitting they don't have any sharp points just blunt objects punching each other over and over and over and over again oh no it's brutal oh there it goes jumbo josie has been defeated by her daughter harry mary i don't actually know if it's a daughter but you get it what is happening over here it looks like 
Uh, <laughs> Flamin' and Tally are up inside Patch Willie's mouth. Jumbo Joe, uh, Harry Mary's now over here. Coach Piccolina is down here fighting still. Oh no! The person I thought was gonna win, Coach Piccolina, has been defeated. Now, the last three are Flamin' and Telly, which I don't even know what they're doing. Coach, uh, Harry, I can keep them straight. Harry, Mary, and then Patch Willie. Oh no! <gasps> Harry Mary died too. This is not good. I thought she would be in second, but it looks like Patched Willie is fighting off against <laughs> Flame and Telly, and he's using his massive body to just squish him in here. They get, he won't even come off the wall. What are you doing? What type of fighter st fighting style is this? Oh no, the tongue. The spike tongue thing is coming down, hitting flaming and flaming and telly. Oh, there he goes. It's broke free. Oh, it's it gonna take it off and drop it over. Oh, there it is. Patched Willy. No way. <laughs> well, I kind of suspected maybe it would win, but that is cool. Look at. Oh my goodness. Look at that health. It was actually an incredibly close battle. Today we watch as Grimace fights off against the TV woman and a brand new very special skibbity toilet creature. This is probably gonna get really weird. This is Grimace and he's very upset because someone stole his shake. Look, this is his hand. He's very mad. He's gonna slap somebody with it. And here is a gigantic army that's gonna fight Grimace. And you might wonder, wow, can this giant army defeat Grimace or will Grimace obliterate them? Well, something tells tells me that Grimace is a little bit more mad than any of us even realized. Not only does he have jet boosters, but he also has a laser. I think he has a laser and some freaking minigun going on in his mouth. He is gigantic and one of his eyeballs is freaking out. He's, his laser is being very ineffective because he can't quite hit him, but things are still dying regardless. Oh, he's broken free. <laughs> what just happened? Wow, he shot across the map and in so doing, took out a whole line of people. Oh, here he comes. He's flying. He can fly? I had no idea, Grimace, he could fly. Oh no, it's all over. Ooh, here he comes. Rain down the laser. Oh, he missed that guy. What is he doing? Oh, here he comes. He's gonna he's gonna sit on that guy. Oh no. Oh, he's got spikes on his legs. I didn't even realize that. Well, Grimace is not to be messed with. Here is the TV woman. Look at her looking all cute. She's got a little ooh, ooh face and she's got a laser in there. Her arms are crossed and everything. I didn't realize she had a laser. And over here is a whole bunch of cameramen and hippos because why not? Now that we know, oh gosh, oh no. no. <laughs> I think, I don't know who's gonna win. Is it gonna be her or Grimace or one of these other insane creations I have in today's video? I've got a lot of awesome ones. You guys, I think you're gonna really enjoy it. I hope you enjoy watching because, uh, you know, there's, you know, skibbity toilet stuff. There's weird new ones. There's Grimace stuff. There's some crazy creatures. Oh, and she's got a flamethrower. Crazy creatures I've never seen before. And I'm really excited to check them out. He's got a laser, flamethrower, and a little shocky thing. What does this woman not have? She means business. She does not like the camera men messing with her plans. She has just obliterated everybody, and the hippo population has gone extinct. Do you remember the Skibbity Rex? Well, there's a Skibbity Spino too. Someone has made a Skibbity Spino, a Spinosaurus head popping out of a toilet, and he also has gigantic weaponry because why not? I mean, that makes sense, right? And then over here on this side, we got a Skibbity Toilet Blue. Look at this crazy creature with multiple things popping out of his head. He is creepy looking. And he's got rockets. And uh, I don't know how it's going to go. Let's see. He's, who's got the better weaponry? That's the real question. The laser zapper dude. The rocket guy. Oh, the spino. Eat some. Oh, no. Just totally obliterated. What's this? Hell? Oh, he almost died. This could be a really interesting final battle. Which, by the way, if you don't know, I'm going to have this spino, the TV woman and grimace all fight off against each other because why not we'll see who's the strongest this here is the titan cameraman with the shield and so far he is the strongest one that i've found that's probably until i found this guy this is the titan titanus tv man 
shield <laughs> I don't even know shield master guru something or other and uh, as you can see he might be a little overkill he's very angry he's got lasers he's got rockets he's got spikes he's got pretty much everything you need and this big thing and then he also has a shield which doesn't really make sense I thought it was a cannon at first why do you need a shield if you get all this firepower there's no way this guy's gonna win the cameraman is certainly doomed oh oh maybe not though wow it is so laggy he must have so many lasers there they go oh they've been unleashed I can't even move anything if I try to attempt to move it's all gonna lag so bad what no way he won that wow and he doesn't even need all that lag he can do it without the lag that was incredible I thought for sure this guy was gonna be doomed but it turns out that he still is the strongest it's been a while since we journeyed to the ocean we got all the best top aquatic creatures here and they're fighting off against this brand new giant creature which has been a long time since we checked out a giant creature it's levictus and he looks amazing look at this guy he's got this awesome epic fin back here he's got spikes all over him clearly he can come on land and breathe fire and walk and stuff he's a true leviathan dragon like thing and he's got this epic looking face will he be able to defeat all of these guys oh he doesn't have a laser i like it i like things that don't have lasers and are mainly melee that's pretty cool oh he's biting these guys but will he be able to actually devour them all and eat them or will he be ripped to pieces by all of the megalodons and other things and killer whales and whatnot he hasn't actually killed any of them yet oh nope he died wow he didn't actually take out any of them he must not be that strong i have i imagine he would be able to what is this uh he's a weakling he's just a baby he's a baby levictus one day he'll get bigger and he'll be more intense. Ah, uh, yes, this large herd of prehistoric mammals are quite intimidating. They usually could defeat anything. That was until they met this thing. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's called Code A. It's some kind of spiky, scorpion looking like nightmare creature mixed with crocodile. It's very terrifying looking. And I'm pretty sure that there's no way they should be able to defeat this thing. Look at all those spikes. How can they even get close to it? Not only do they have spikes, but he's eating them. Then he's got the scorpion tail, which really is just poking himself. It's not really doing a whole lot to any of the creatures. Maybe to one of these mammoths over here. Oh, what the heck? Its leg just freaked out. Flung backwards and hit that guy. It definitely got, that mammoth definitely got skewered. There's, there's, there's one down there, I think. He got one. Oh, right in its face. Do you see that? Oh, and it's got a flamethrower too. That seems appropriate. But you know what? This thing might be spiky, but I got even, I got another thing that's even more spiky. They call it the demon pickle. <laughs> Look at this nightmare thing. It's a worm, but it's covered in spikes and it's a, it's an evil pickle. Don't mess with the evil pickle. He's got lots of those things. He's got lasers. Oh, this is an intense battle, actually. Who will be victorious? Will it be the spiky scorpion crocodile thing? Or will it be the evil pickle of doom? Oh, no. Something crazy is happening. Somebody is l stuck on something. Oh, no. The evil pickle is lost. I had hopes for you, evil pickle. How could you lose? And here we go. The showdown of the ages. <laughs> we got Grimace. We've got a spino skibbity toy. Toilet, and we've got the female TV woman over here who will be victorious some yeah I'm picking the woman she's a woman scorned I think she's gonna be victorious I'm not 100% sure comment below who you think will win if you think it'll be grimace or the spino or the woman let's see what happens I'm gonna say that freaking grimace goes <gasps> um, what how strong is she what she do? What the heck? She doesn't. She has an attack of one. Perhaps, uh, perhaps she's just too strong. Maybe that laser is too powerful. I think maybe what we need to do is uh, get rid of her. <laughs> and uh, we'll put the Spino on Team One and just have it face off against Grimace because clearly she is very powerful. But will Grimace defeat the Spino? That's the real. What the heck was that? Oh, the laser from those things. Wow. It, it, 
this did not go the way that I thought it was going to go. I thought for sure that it, that battle would last longer than that. I mean, what do you what do you even do at this point? You just uh, I don't even know. It, it ends so quickly. Look, she instant turns and hits Grimace, and Grimace is dead. Oh, here we go. A little bit longer of a battle, only about a second longer. She still has. Oh, well, she lost a little bit of HP, but not much. Well, did you see it going that way? Hopefully you enjoyed watching and you're having a great day. Thanks for stopping by. Until next time, bye.